Good morning and welcome to NSDA's Area Conference on Science Education. I am Adam Taylor and this is Trisha Shelton. And we are educators like you, here to talk about Twitter and how many people at this conference are using it to connect with NSTA members as well as other educators across the planet. Twitter gives you 24-7 access to science experts and teachers with whom you can instantly connect, collaborate, and learn. We were invited to talk to you today because we are often asked by other educators about how to use Twitter as a global space for sharing ideas, resources, blog reflections, and stories from the classroom. Twitter provides access to learning support from STEM experts, peers, and scientists with rich and diverse backgrounds who can contribute to your ongoing personalized professional growth. If you are new to Twitter, we'd like to recommend you begin by searching hashtags of topics you are interested in. For instance, at this conference, the hashtag NSTA14. Here you'll see tweets with things like updates on giveaways in the exhibit hall, reminders about where to find frequently asked questions, invitations from other attendees to gather at tweet ups and so forth. While conferences like this are optimal learning experiences when you can't gather in person, an excellent way to connect is through organized Twitter chats like NGSS Chat. NGSS Chat is an online forum to learn and share around the next generation science standards and great science teaching. It happens on the first and third Thursdays of the month at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. In addition to NGSS Chat, there are other Twitter chats in your area. For instance, Florida has FL EdChat and California has CA EdChat. Not only is Twitter a great way for educators to connect with other educators and scientists, it is also great for connecting students with other classrooms and scientists. One way students and scientists connect via Twitter is through a once a month Twitter chat called SciStuChat. High school students discuss relevant science topics with some of the scientists actually conducting the research. The discussion is hosted by a different set of student moderators each month. The interactions between students and researchers is real, and the learning is real. Social media is an active place where teachers can lead from the classroom and provide coaching and support for others while learning themselves either asynchronously or synchronously. Every teacher has a story to share and is an important part of the conversation about how to create great science experiences for students. If becoming a part of this active digital community interests you, you can find support for connecting yourself and your students at connectthinklearn.com or tweet us at twofootgiraffe and at TDI Shelton.